Hey, Jamar, since Richard Sherman's been back, have you been able to bend his ear at all about playing? What is he like out there on the field? Oh, he's great. I mean, the guy's seen it all. So it's just like having another coach out there. Uh, you know, we talk all the time. We are just actually just talking right now. So just always going through different scenarios, and he's just always up on everything and always one step ahead. It's great to have him back. Is there anything that he shared in particular with you throughout this process of him coming back and heading towards the Rams? Uh, no. I mean, you know, we talk, you know, schematic things, but, you know, really, you know, he's just he's just a kid out there, you know, a kid having fun. Uh, it's good to see him, you know, 32 years old, still flying around, still making plays. It seems like the ball is just always finding him, um, you know, but it's really just being accountable. You know, he just talks about being accountable, having fun, just really enjoying the moment. You know what I mean? Because you never know when it's going to be taken away from you, uh, from you. And just in the midst of all this COVID stuff, you know, he's just kind of been reminding the team, just have fun, have fun, enjoy it, have fun. So uh, that's kind of been a message coming from him this week. But at the same time, staying locked in and staying focused. And we know uh, this game on Sunday is a big game. Hey, <clears throat> hey Jamar, uh, Monday night against the Buccaneers was a good example of what the Rams – can do with Goff and the wide receivers. Um, obviously, that didn't happen the first time they played you guys. Why were you guys so successful uh, against them in, in that game defensively? I think we just communicated well. I think we, uh, you know, we aligned fast. We, you know, we knew our assignments. We aligned fast, and we just got after it. Uh, we communicated well. Like I said, we flew around. Um, you know, we got blessed. They, you know, they missed a couple of throws, thank God, you know, um, in our favor. But at the same time, uh, you know, as a as a uh, defense as a whole, we you know, we just communicated really really well. We tackled well. Um, you know, everything was just kind of hitting on all cylinders that night. With you and uh, Richard Sherman and Jason Barrett potentially being the, the top three corners on on Sunday, that, that's that's a lot of experience there. Um, a, have you been part of a group that's that's had that amount of experience and? Have you guys commented on that uh, at all this week? Has it been evident in, in your practices, anything like that? Uh, no, uh, we haven't. We haven't talked about it much. You know, like I said, we just we're just focused on the Rams. Um, but when you look at it, you know, I know I've talked about it with my with my dad and, you know, some of my friends just as, as, as a whole. This group is probably one of the best groups I've been around, you know, depth wise uh, for all of my career. You know, what I mean, I mean, starting with Sherm, like you said, JV. Um, you know, Mosley's played a lot of ball. Dante Johnson's played a lot of ball. I have as well. So you just have you just have a number of guys. KK, you know what I mean? So when you look at, I mean, those those five guys alone has played a lot of ball, has played a lot of good ball. So uh, probably one of the best group, groups I've been around as a whole. It's, it's def, definitely, you know, uh, nice to be a part of. Jamar, with the Rams offense, obviously they're a division opponent, so there's familiarity um, there obviously you've been with the Seahawks, but um, is there, you know, the fact that they run a similar style offense uh, to what Kyle does, is that any sort of benefit for you as you get ready to play them? I know, cause you never know what McVay is cooking up. You know, I think he's one of the top guys uh, in the game, office coordinators in game, right along with Kyle. Uh, but those guys are masterminds. So you never know what you're going to get. Uh, so you just have to make sure you're, you know, alignment and assignment ready and have your eyes right and uh, get ready to roll. Ryan, with all the guys that you've been missing, how challenging has it been this week putting players in different spots, adjusting to that as you look forward towards the Rams? Say that again? Sorry. Just with all the guys that you're missing this week due to COVID or injuries, whatnot, how hard has it been? How challenging has it been to keep that preparation going? Uh, it hasn't been too challenging. You know, I'm, I'm a guy, at least for myself, that's, you know, no excuses, no explanations, you know, next man up kind of mentality. You know, we have we have a great group of guys, you know, a great roster that, you know, Kyle and uh, John has put together. So we know we'll be fine regardless. You know, the next guy is always ready to play, uh, whether it's in the DB room, in the linebacker room, D-line room. We have great leaders in all aspects of uh, our team. So I think, you know, whoever plays is going to be ready to roll.